Um, meantime, a New York City couple is being sued by a pair of squatters who allegedly broke into their near million dollar home and refused to vacate, calling the situation absolutely absurd. I don't blame them. The homeowners racking up thousands in legal bills fighting the suit. Joining us now is Polk County, Florida Sheriff Grady Judge. Sheriff, it's great to have you on the program today. And I know there are changes that are being enacted right now in Florida to make sure that these kinds of situations don't occur and that squatters' rights aren't abused. What would happen to these squatters if this happened in your state? The Florida legislature just clarified that, and our governor, DeSantis, is already signed the bill. And even before that bill, if those folks had lived in Polk County with that million-dollar house and squatters had gone there, we would have gone there and arrested them and have taken them to jail immediately. Now, I don't understand why they end up being the suspects or not the victims in this case. In Florida, it would have been a different story, especially in my county. And now that law, as you said, Sheriff, has been clarified in Florida. I don't understand how what you just described, what you would do in your jurisdiction, how that isn't standard operating procedure all across the country. It's just basic common sense. People don't have a right to live in the place where they're living. That's a crime, but in some cases, some places, that isn't true. My understanding is Georgia is trying to move in the direction of Florida on this. Some other places are as well. What's your recommendation for states that right now have lenient laws that benefit squatters? Well, my recommendation is for the law enforcement officers to go there and get documentation that the owners did not enter into a lease agreement or a contract for sale. When the homeowner can say, I don't know these people, I've never entered into an agreement, then that becomes trespassing or burglary or theft. And why aren't the suspects treated that way? They should be. They always have been in this county. And quite frankly, we don't have problems with squatters because of that. On the few occasions that they've tried that silliness here, we go there, determine that the owner is really the owner and lock the suspects up. That's like suggestion if you park your car and leave the windows down, that it's okay for someone to get into your car and take it, <laughs> and then you've got to have a civil court order to get your car back. All of that is nonsense. Law you know, enforcement Sheriff, needs to lock them up. It's such nonsense that even the White House press secretary is speaking about the issue. Take a listen to what she just said. How worried do Americans need to be about squatters? About squatters? About squatters. There's a lot of stories out there. Homeowners are showing up at places that they own where the locks have been changed. Some squatter has moved in and the homeowner has no rights. Does President Biden think that is right? So if, if my understanding is that this is obviously uh, uh, a local issue. We are certainly tracking that issue. Uh, the rights of property owners and renters must be protected. And we believe that, uh, you know, ultimately, what needs to happen is the local uh, government needs to make sure that they address this and they take action. Okay, so is it a local issue? Or if not, how do you get more blue states to follow your lead? Sure, it is a statewide issue and a local issue. And quite frankly, I'm just amazed because it's never even been a question in this county. In the state of Florida now, we've clarified the law because there is a civil process to get people out of your homes. But there's also a criminal aspect to this because people don't have the right to move into your empty house or dummy up some documents saying, well, I've contracted with them for sale or I've contracted for a lease agreement. When the owners say, look, I don't know you, I've never seen this contract, I didn't sign it, Right. lock the suspects up because they're committing a crime. It seems, and they can do that any place in the United States. It seems very reasonable, Sheriff, but people have to act on that sentiment. You are doing it in Florida. We so appreciate your time today. Thank you. Thank you so much. If you want to be safe, move to Florida. If you want to live in one of those crazy environments, somebody else can live in your house. Thank you, sir.